Come on up, Kathy, for your award. It's not candy. She asked me if the award was going to be candy. I'm sorry, Rosemary. This is my agent, Rosemary. Um, uh, Mama is in Oslo at a human rights conference, so she's with me. So I'm going to take the time that the first person didn't take and the other time, too. Um, and I really didn't destroy that tape, Kenneth. Um, but I'm really, really thrilled to be here. I mean, one of the, um, one of the things that I've said for the... 20-something years I've been doing this work, is that what we don't do enough of in our community is validate each other and honor each other and thank each other for the, even the simple things that we do every day sometimes. It's very easy to get caught up uh, in the day-to-day -day of activism. And I think the impact that oppression and homophobia can have on all of us is an issue that we don't talk about enough either. So I don't need to tell the people in this room that, right? Um, but that's part of why this award really meant a lot to me. Um, and also because it's named for Barbara Giddings. Um, I had the blessing of knowing Barbara. Um, I spoke with Kay on Saturday. She couldn't be here. Um, her longtime partner, uh, as my wife will tell you for sure, behind every great woman is sometimes another great woman. Um, <laughs> and uh, for every time that you saw a picture of, of Barbara or Frank Kameny or someone out there, chances are Kay took that picture. And so it was really... Uh, a pleasure to talk to her Saturday, and she sent their good friend John Cunningham to represent and take some pictures, and she asked me to send you all her best wishes and thanks for naming this after Barbara. Um, there are a few people that I really, I have to thank, because um, I don't get awards that often. Um, you know, I'm just a publicist, right? Um, I want to, first of all, thank my wife, who, who is in here. She's in Oslo. Um, and I also want to thank anybody who's ever been on our staff, our interns, and um, one of our staff, Nathan Tabak, who is a Philadelphia native, who is here. Um, his title is, well, it's, it's communications manager now. We might as well just, you know, we'll give you an upgrade. And, uh, <laughs> but really what he is is he's the glue that holds the firm together and makes me look good a lot because, you know, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be able to do a ton of what I do. And, and he, doesn't, he doesn't get to stand up behind the podium because he's the behind-the-scenes guy and he's a little shy. So, um, you know, I, I want to make sure I thank him. Um, we have so many clients that I think have just blessed us uh, with the opportunity to help them tell their stories. Um, a lot of them you've heard of, like the Family Acceptance Project and the Fenway Health Institute, folks that you work with. But you know, there are so many others that, um, that have just brought so much meaning into my life, like the Ali Fernay Center and the Matthew Shepard Foundation. Um, they're just, they're countless. Um, there is one person in this room that I really want to point out and thank, because he lives here now. Um, and he's one of the bravest people I know. His name is Josh Seafried. Josh, where are you? you? You're not allowed to hide outside of lighting anymore. We know your name. You're not J.D. Smith. Josh is the founder of OutServe, which was the organization of openly lesbian, gay, bisexual service members who were willing to, without the lights on, Rachel Vado, um, tell their stories to the world and really make a difference and I think, frankly, help turn the tide in overturning Don't Ask, Don't Tell. And I didn't even know that he was real for a long time, so I just went on trust. I went on trust. Um, there are a lot of people in this room I want to thank. I am just really blessed. I used to spend a lot of time in Philly. Um, one person who's not here is Patty Teehee. She was the editor of the Philadelphia Gay News, and she's very much here in spirit. She never really came to events anyway, for any of you that know her. Um, uh, Gail Schister and her wife Penny are here. Um, when I say that I stand on the shoulders of Barbara Giddings, I also stand on the shoulders of Gail Schister. If you don't know her, really go talk to her because she's hilarious. Um, and she's wonderful, and she is a pioneer in this movement. She was one of the first out journalists. I'm sure you'll, I'm mainstream journalist, you'll correct me. <laughs> she basically said, don't F up when I was walking up here, so not loud enough for Rosemary to hear, because she's a mom too. Um, there are other people in the room, Kevin Barry, 
who was has been a longtime friend, Tom Cardwell, who uh, you know I don't want to talk about Tom dancing with my sister at the Glad Awards many times, um, and new friends um, like Taryn, who's somewhere videotaping this um, right from Change.org. There she is. Hello. Um, you know. She's the kind of person that I meet that I say, I get to stand on Barbara's shoulders. I get to stand on Gail's shoulders. There's a spot right here. Mm. And, and that's the kind of stuff that we need to do more of in this community. And that's what I think this award does. Um, and that's why I think it means so much. I want to thank some people who are part of this organization. <sighs> this is the part where I might get a little bit reclaimed. Um, so I'll thank Mary Barbara first because you won't make me cry because we just have fun. And you hate the camera too and I, I destroyed those videos. Um, <laughs> But there is one person I really need to thank at a very personal level, and that's Jack Drescher. And I don't know where he is, but... Okay, so I met Jack a long time ago, basically when I was in desperate need of someone intelligent to put on television to talk about gay people and mental health issues when I worked at GLAAD. And I found Jack. I don't even remember how I found you. Who knows, right? It's been so long. And We've had a friendship forged, frankly, for years, uh, initially based on that, and I put him on the O'Reilly Factor, and he still talks to me. Um, <laughs> and then it became, I do owe you for life for O'Reilly. I owe him lunch at the best barbecue place in New York, basically, and a trip to the comic book store, and a love of Italian. So we have sort of a lot of things now that we have in common, but, and I've never actually said this um, in front of him, but um, since I lost my dad, You've kind of been like a dad. And I hate to say that to make you sound like you're old. But he's been my touchstone. He's told me, you're screwing up. You need to do this differently. I mean, one could call it pro bono services. I don't know. But um, <laughs> it's more than a friendship. It's like family. And it's meant a lot. Um, the last person I want to thank is this little person next to me. Mm. Um, she has taught me more than anybody has ever taught me. <laughs> For those of you who are parents, you know what I mean. Um, I've learned so much from being a parent about myself, um, and I've learned that we walk on this earth for a certain amount of time, and we do what we do, and if we want to leave it a better place, there are people that we want to leave it a better place for. And now I have somebody that I know I want to leave it a better place for. Um, and so that is her. Um, and the last thing I will say is that just the, the wonderful thing about this award is that I just feel like we do very different things, me and the people in this room. Well, except for my friends over there, who I guess could be considered potential clients, so you could go talk to them. <laughs> um, but what you do is you hear stories in private. And what I do is I tell stories in public. They're both very, very powerful, life-changing things that heal people. I know that for a fact because I hear from people all the time. I know that when Josh was telling his story, how many people did we hear from who realized that there was somebody else like them who had the guts to go and talk about their lives and then come out when they were ready? Um, so for that, this is just, this is gonna go on my wall in my office at home and uh, it really, really means an awful lot. So I thank you very, very much. <laughs>